All right, so hopefully the signal is going to hold out here, but we were in a wheat field. We had a lot of trouble actually connecting the stream here and just wanted to come to you live this morning on July the 2nd. And it is the 160th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. And we're here at the bloody wheat field on the afternoon of July the 2nd, 1863 at 4.30 in the afternoon. This field was transferred, transformed rather into a pool of blood. It went from some golden wheat to a red fill, filled, filled with the blood of men of blue and gray. And here on the afternoon of July the 2nd, this wheat field exchanged hands almost or right at a number of six times. And it was just carnage. The scene here was absolutely horrible after the um, battle was over here in the wheat field. And you can walk through here today and see the wheat field for yourself. And there's a very famous photo taken somewhere in this area you can look up from the wheat field. Um, I, I don't really think I'm going to put that on YouTube because it would probably get taken down because it is a pretty ugly and gruesome photo, photo of a dead soldier laying here in the wheat field. But over here in this direction, you can see the stony, the stony hill. And then you can see the stone wall, which was held by Union troops. Through the trees in this direction is the Rose Farm. <clears throat> and on July the 2nd, 1863, Confederates at 430 started swooping into this area of the wheat field. And they began savage and fierce fighting here. This wheat field exchange hands six times and Union troops desperately try to hold out here. And if you come here to the wheat field today, you can see it for yourself. You could see all the monuments that's out here commemorating the Union troops who fought over the wheat field here. And there's a neat story of a colonel named Harrison H. Jeffords that was here in the wheat field. He was with the 4th Michigan, and as a colonel in the 4th Michigan, well, he was trying to uphold his duty in protecting their colors, and their colors of the 4th Michigan was captured. Well, Colonel Jeffers uh, saw fit, because it's his duty, to recapture those colors, and he used his revolver. He was successful. But a moment later, a Confederate bayonet was thrust into his abdomen and he was mortally wounded here in the wheat field. And that's just one of the many neat stories that, that comes out of the wheat field of the carnage and fighting that was here that you can go back, research, read about. There's many st stories and accounts of soldiers being here. And they said that you could walk from one end of this field to the other just on the course of the men who fell here. And... This is probably one of the coolest places, in my opinion, in Gettysburg. So if you want to see where the most savage and vicious fighting took place on the field here, this is it. This is the bloody wheat field. And we're going to be putting up a video from here in the wheat field. You can see that here on the channel. And we will be putting it up in the coming couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you the wheat field this morning. So it's, uh, it's been a fun time here and we've learned a lot of stuff while we've been here in a wheat field. So come out and check it out for yourself. This is definitely a place to visit. If you run into us here in Gettysburg, come by, say hello. And uh, later on today, we've, we've got a lot of stuff planned. So it's gonna be a fun day. We'll. Uh, We'll see you down the road here in Gettysburg for the 160th.